Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quinvitz Animation Extravaganza, episode 169, The Triple Date. just on my script for chapter 59 of Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. This manga is still in the early battles against Commander-in-Chief Goldamask, but thankfully I don't have to do that many more chapters before the series' conclusion. I have like 25 chapters left to write before the series' finale. Say, the mail truck's here. Well, better go check my mailbox. Now let's see. Oh, I found the letter! It's from the Kodokujis. They're inviting me to a triple date with them, Shigeru, and Dexter. I might as well accept, as this could be an interesting experience. Now let's see, the location they chose is Chili's, and that's in Celadon City, so I shouldn't have to go too far from my apartment. Alright, let's go! You made it, comrade! Good work! Come on, let's go get us a table! Welcome to Chili's, how many are there? Six. Alright, table for six. Right this way, please! Wow, this could be quite a date! I bet Quentin's never even been on one of this kind before! You'll be right, Kaoru. I've been on dates with me and Miyako alone. Hi, how are we doing today? We're doing just fine. Good, what can I get for you to drink? We'll go with six Diet Cokes, please. One for each of us. Alright, six Diet Cokes coming right up. So Momoko and I have been seeking about how we will maintain our family together. I don't think we're ready to have children yet, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Yeah, nice. What's wrong, Quentin Chan? Thinking about something? As a matter of fact, I am. I was just thinking about how I would fight anti-Japanese sentiment. I understand, as you are infatuated with Japan and its culture. Oh yeah? Well, anti-Japanese sentiment has even affected this day and age. How so? In 1920s and 30s Japan, there lived a man named Hideki Tojo. Huh, he sounds familiar, but I don't remember. He was basically the devil incarnate during the 1930s and 40s. How so? He was a member of a fascist group called the Imperial Rural Assistance Association. By 1940, they had absolute control over Japan, with poor Emperor Showa under pressure. Around that same year, the IRAA joined forces with the fascist dictators of Germany and Italy. This was the biggest mistake any Japanese person has ever made. However, the icing on the cake came in December of 1941, when General Tojo and his army bombed the naval port in Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, causing the US to declare war on Japan. Every American was brainwashed into hating the absolute best country in the world. Only President FDR stayed the same. He originally didn't want to relocate Japanese Americans, but the brainwashed citizens forced him to do so anyway. Oh my god! I understand! Our grandparents suffered the internment when they were kids! Oh my god! That's awful! I can't even imagine what it would feel like to go through that! Anyway, when the war was over, America redeemed itself by rebuilding Japan and making friends with them. General Tojo was hanged during this process, but his legacy is still very much alive, mostly in China and the Koreas. Those country citizens are still brainwashed into hating Japan. You mean that's literally what you feel? Yep, I mean every word. Oh my god, we are so sorry you feel that way. Exactly, we had never known that anti-Japanese sentiment could be that big of a deal for anybody. But don't worry, Quentin Chan, I promise you that we'll take care of it someday. We'll all be in this together, Clinton. Keep that in mind. Thanks, guys. You're the only ones whom I can trust. Alright, guys. Your meals are here. Eat in good health. Thank you. Alright, guys. Itadakimasu! You know, I can't think of a better first triple date than this. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Prepare yourself for Crime's next mechanical monster, okay? Alright. See you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.